Hello my friends, Tario here from Gaming in a Daydream. I hope you're all keeping well and thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Empire Total War where we're gonna be checking this mod called Colonialism 1600 AD. Now this mod is uh, quite old, it's been around for quite a few years and uh, something that we have to point out right from the start is that it's not being updated anymore. The developer uh, started a, a new mod called Colonialism 1600 AD World at War where he uh, revamped or uh, did a, a totally conversion of the of this original mod however that one is still at 0.5 and uh, he said that the developer mentioned that it's not, it's not gonna be updated for quite some time because he's now working with the developing team for Napoleon Total War Pike and Shot that you probably have heard about. I started this uh, this campaign with Spain. I'm Spanish, by the way, uh, living in China for many years, but uh, I'm Spanish, so mostly I play with Spain, the Total War games. Uh, I started this playthrough and uh, you can see here that we are at the year 1645. Now you start uh, I think I started 1620. Uh, you c if you check the victory conditions, I already hold all of them except Aus Austria. Austria that I could actually uh, start uh, sending armies and, uh, and take it out and, and win the campaign in maybe, I don't know, no more than 1655 or something like that. But I didn't do it because I'm waiting for technologies to develop because if you can see here it will unlock a ton of new uh, units and if you go here you will get even more units and I wanted to, to check them out right now one good thing that this uh, mod has even though that is not completed and you will see things like this for example in which uh, but this one is completed let me see here okay now you can see here that not all the units have the, the, the unit cards and uh, some of them, yeah, the, most uh, have the, the description of the units but there are many without it. Let's see if I can find, like this one for example, see, it doesn't have the description on it. It is not balanced as well, so for example, uh, these light uh, pike marines, you can see here the, the cost and the the uh, melee attack, the values is 10, the defense is 20, 10, 20. If you want to recruit and you go to uh, see that the, even the, the card units they have empty in here. Uh, if you go to this uh, heavy pikemen, right? General, generalitat pikemen. Melee attack 10, melee defense 20. Melee attack 10, melee defense 20. Now this one has 120 men and it cost 915 gold. This one has 300 men, for more than double, has the same the same uh, stats and the same cost. But if you go to the light, uh, I don't think we have in here. If you go to the light pikeman, it also has 300. It has the same stats and the value is cheaper. So there's, a, there's an unbalance in there, right? So well, you would recruit those uh, heavy pikemen if you want to see them, uh, which are pretty cool, actually. Hopefully we can see them later in battle. But uh, there's no point in spending more just for the sake of it. So that's a, a, a negative in this, uh, in this mod. However, the good thing that you have here, and you can see from the cards, if you are familiar with Pike and Shot, I believe this one is going to be there. You will see because the developer is is uh, working with the with the team for Pike and Shot. Now, Pike and Shot is a Napoleon Total War mod in which is mainly focused on Europe, but uh, here in Empire Total War you have the whole world to play about. And is very much a pike and shot mod as well. Now the thing uh, that I start uh, stop playing 
uh, my campaign was because uh, I got bored. If you can see here in the uh, in the diplomatic uh, relations, almost everybody is friendly with me. Everybody loves me. But not only that, is that everybody loves each other. There's only one war going on right now in the whole world. I think that is the uh, Villa Villa Yanagara Empire, the Maratha com Confederacy in the in the uh, vanilla game. They are at war with the Mughal and Persia. They, they are uh, allies. So you can see there, those two are at war, and that's it. Everything else. Everybody loves Serbia. It, this is like the the, uh, the hippie times of the Victorian era. Make love, no war. Uh, life is beautiful. I'm even trading with the uh, as Spain. I'm trading with the Barbary states. That uh, if you know a little bit <laughs> about the history in there, they hate each other at, with all their hearts, you know. And we are trading with them. <laughs> it's uh, incredible. So I could just past turns here just to build up my economy, my armies, uh, etc. and finally go against the uh, Austria, but it's uh, quite boring. Uh, in a, a war game like this, uh, it would be awesome in real life, but uh, for a game like this, this is pretty boring. Now, I started this playthrough on campaign... Uh, let me see, because I have battle, I think is uh, uh, very hard, but the campaign was um, normal. I was checking it out. And when we're gonna start a new one in a few moments, and that we will do with very hard. For what I read in comments, I don't remember if it was in the Total War forum, is that after the year 1700, that is when the the um, vanilla game starts, is when everything starts to kick into motion. So the wars will start appearing, etc. But in the meantime, you have like 60 years that there's nothing. Uh, so when I started, you can see. You start uh, in Brussels with Spain. I took out the Netherlands and uh, I took all their possessions. So we go to uh, India. I took their um, Ceylon. I took their island. Uh, I took Portugal as well. So I, I came and, and took Goa. Nobody uh, minded because the Mughal and the Marathas are at war between them. Finally, here it broke a rebellion and I took the chance and I put the army actually that I had here in Ceylon, I sell it over and I took it for myself uh, fighting the rebels and I'm waiting there if there are gonna be any more rebellions to take more more land but uh, you know here I have some some trading and uh, this one I don't have any anything in there but uh, on the others this one I had some naval battles I remember but I took it all under my control and in South America we have most of it except one the trade node from our allies if you go to America actually I would like to show you because a lot of people who has played this uh, this uh, mod normally uh, where it shines I would say is with uh, England France and Spain because you get the colonies in North America to play with now and the good thing is that, uh, in the contrary to the uh, to the vanilla game where you know you start uh, as Spain, for example, you need to take several uh, key points like uh, Curaçao, here Trinidad and Tobago, etc. And then the uh, New Spain would be part of uh, your empire. I understand why they did that because Spain is already quite large and i believe i don't know that maybe with with france to make it the same for all of them but with spain you have already a, a ton of uh, regions to control in in two continents etc and if you add new spain it would be quite hard to to develop them because by the time you get new spain doing the the missions actually new spain has already developed quite a lot some of the of the plantations etc but uh, it's not real, right? New Spain uh, and the 13 colonies uh, and the possessions in uh, from France in the, the Caribbean, they were part of the of the main uh, country, so uh, it's not very uh, very real. Here you do have it, however, 
I don't know if it's a bug or something. A lot of people have complained. We will see when we start the uh, the campaign that uh, all the possessions in in uh, South America, what was belonging to New Spain, it was uh, even though it's yours, it has a, a fog of war. So you can select. You see here this uh, Santiago de Cali, right? I'm clicking and I can't select it to build anything in there. Now, since uh, since I started, uh, what I've done is uh, here, for example, Mexico. I think uh, when we start Mexico, you can control it. So you can do a good way to do it. Just recruit a few units and send them around the map. Once you move around, you will be able to to select. You will be able to build, etc. Now, as you can see down here in Panama is the same. That's why I'm keeping some units like there I have a, a, a ship so I can uh, actually I already finished developing this but uh, this way you can see I can select and I can build and I have this Señoría. this guy moving so he's moving up and down so I can build all these uh, all these uh, buildings so this one we can select uh, here I have a unit so I show you you move a little bit. En marcha. And as soon as it is in our range, now I can select it and I can build whatever I want. So don't be, uh, I mean, this is not ideal. It's a, it's a, a pain in the butt, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm saying part of my French. But uh, you can, w there's a workaround and you can play with it. So this mod is playable. If you want to uh, check. Uh, the units, uh, etc. It's not uh, these things like this bug is is is, uh, is a little pain in the butt, but there's a workaround and you can you can you can do it. Uh, another thing, for example, uh, that I wanted to say is about the the naval battles, for example. Do we have new new vessels in this uh, in this mod that are pretty nice? However, what is uh, I got it from from Morocco? Todo listo y en orden, Capitán. You see, you have a uh, Fortigan, Frigate. There's a ton of different uh, new vessels, uh, di different from the vanilla experience. Now, they are terribly inaccurate. Even though here it says uh, 43, uh, 57. No, nah. if you go to battle, you can spend a whole weekend leave them if you take out the the battle limit you can start on a friday night and say start a, a battle without a, a time limit you can go and next monday you come and they and they haven't finished uh, uh, sinking the the, the the vessels between them because it's impossible so what i recommend in there is that you just go for the ships that have the highest amount of uh, salesman in there like this one has 142 right the galleons are good because they have 176 and just board the enemy vessels. Board them and that's how you're gonna win the, the naval battles. Well, we are back to the main screen because I tried to start a, a new campaign and the game crashed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not uh, that stable. I think uh, it's better to save uh, as uh, you get in and, and continue at least one turn before doing anything. I was trying to go for a battle directly and uh, and the game crashed. So I was saying that uh, the colonialism is 1680, as you can see here. The nations that you can choose are exactly the same as the vanilla. It doesn't add any new nation in there. We're gonna go with Spain, because it's the one that I know the best. Uh, but this time with a very hard, very hard difficulty. And here it says you start in 1611, but uh, let's see. The pikeman. Okay, so. First things first, let me make a save. Uh, so we start in 1616, not uh, 1611, as uh, it says at the, at the intro. Uh, let's put here start. Very hard. Okay, there we are. So, 
here the only change that I've made uh, besides the, 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 the mod, the colonialism 1680 is I added the HD environments and uh, I will leave a link also so the maybe you notice that the graphics are not the same as uh, in vanilla uh, there's a, a better one te called Terrestria Orben that you might have heard of and recently actually uh, they just published the 1.6 pack that is pretty good but in, I'm recording here in our computer because uh, uh, the one that I always record I have another another mods in, in there and since there's no mod manager in uh, for Empire uh, that I know of it's a pain in the butt to uninstall, install again and all that so I have in this laptop I, I have this in another uh, this is my work laptop actually uh, uh, another laptop that I have I have another mod for Empire and Napoleon and the one that I'm using now for my Thunder Robot Zero in that one I have a, a Ultima Ratio black label that uh, I will showcase as well uh, shortly and for Napoleon, I have the Darth mod in there. But anyway, so here we are in our campaign, and unfortunately, I don't see any enemy vessels. There are no pirates around, so I can't show you a, a naval battle right now. Uh, before the game crashed, I was trying to get this army to attack here, but as you can see, I can't select it. So what I'm gonna do is pass one turn. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything because we could be here forever, right? I can. Uh, sign the uh, trade with everybody blah, blah 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 but if we do a proper campaign and if you are interested in watching let me know because I'm gonna be trying several mods uh, I'm showcasing before this video you probably will, can see in the channel uh, Shogun 2 Total War with the Morning Sun mod the playing as the Ming Dynasty in China also for Attila I'm checking the uh, medieval, medieval kingdoms 1212 AD as the kingdom of uh, Navarre, Navarroa. Navarra, this is uh, the north of, uh, of Spain. And uh, so, guessing this, I'm going to be checking more. But if this someone tells me, ah, I start with a campaign on this mod for Empire or Napoleon, then I would do like that. Otherwise, I don't know which one I'm going to be uh, going through. I would like to play this, actually. These guys can move, ordena, but uh, it all depends. Right now, just to showcase if we can showcase a battle, I'm gonna pass the turn and I'm gonna I'm not gonna do anything else. Let's pass one turn directly. See if we can start moving to the enemies. They want us to pay. Who are you, uh, allies? You are ally with the Ottomans, with France. Enemies, Bavaria. Bavaria is one of my... Oi, Colón. This is the one that I can't uh, make an ally with France because uh, I'm with Cologne. Uh, okay, why not? Just... Yes. The Br uh, British are at war with France directly, right off the bat. Sweden, Sweden, they also want us to, to pay, enemies, Russia, ta ta ta, okay, are taking all our monies, oh, France, what do they want, trade, only 790, yes, of course, yeah, this is a land uh, trade, trade route, so I wouldn't do this in a proper playthrough, you know, the first uh, turn is the most important and uh, I'm already trading with the Vijinara, yeah, let's trade with them also, they're at war, so they will break their ports and we won't get anything from either of them, but... Uh, uh, what do you want? Oh, New Netherland. You're not a protectorate of the... The Netherlands, actually. Okay, let's try. Maybe at, after the uh, the first turn, we constructed a building. Okay, so can we move to 
attack the enemy now. Now we can, you see? Now we can. So this is because of the script. Uh, we have to wait one turn. So before doing anything, in my game crash like that in the my, my first turn, uh, I tried to move there and the game crashed for some reason. So uh, if you find that trouble, uh, make sure to right you ca uh, when you start uh, the campaign map make sure to save and pass at least one turn and then you can do whatever you want uh, we are at war with them I, I should have recruited something though <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't notice I'm probably gonna lose this battle but I'm gonna move forward just to so we can see the units boom so we have 2356 we have some light pike marines, heavy pikemen, some pioneers that you, they can shoot. For, they have like pistols, I think. European general's bodyguard, a 12 pounder, which is maybe this can save us in here. I don't know if we can do some canister. Now they have. Provincial Cavalry, Land Infantry, they have a ton. And, wow, all the armed citizenry, actually, they can shoot. So, they can shoot, a, everything can shoot here. They only have got two pikemen. They are pretty good, actually. Uh, melee attack 15, defense 20. 15, 20, that's better than any of ours. So, their pikemen are better. This one? No, this one is the same. And uh, 11040. That's the same as ours, but I only have one. <laughs> I only have one line infantry and they have one, two, three, four, five. And a ton of, of that. So this is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna demand surrender. They're gonna laugh in my face. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This is just for giggles, huh? so I can show you the, the units.
Well, that was a bloody battle, wasn't it? In the end, you know, the siege uh, battles take uh, forever. So I decided to, instead of uh, playing it, uh, talking uh, through, well, I did actually, but then <laughs> I just uh, made a cinematic. Uh, if you are here, you have seen it. A cinematic uh, resume of the how it went. And we took Amsterdam, it fell. I have to uh, rebuild everything <coughs> that we have broken. But, uh, and the army, you see, is uh, we have some people, these have 29 <laughs> pikemen left. But actually, it went much better than I thought because they came out to fight us. And you know, if we had siege them, for example, uh, they sail out, all of them would have come out and and shoot, uh, shoot us down because they have so many guns. We only had one uh, line infantry, one pioneers, so they don't have the cars here. And the Archibusiers that did pretty well, actually, much better than I than I thought. But I hope it gives you a little taste of uh, what it is this uh, Empire Total War Pike and Shot. So for me, it's, uh, it, it's like that. No? The Colonialism 1600 AD mod that is totally playable, even though it's not finished and has a lot of uh, stuff uh, and done. But you can play it. You can play it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope. Uh, you are gonna try yourself the music. I have to put it off in the, during the battle because it uses the the warpath campaign, and it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't sound very well in a battle in Europe, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, if I come back to this uh, to this mod that I would like to, and do a, a campaign with Spain, I will start from zero. I didn't even uh, search anything in the first turn, etc. First turn is uh, very important, and we just pass through so we can have the battle. I will leave the the links to the the mods that I'm using, etc. And uh, give it a look. And if you have any suggestions, anything, any comments, please leave in the, in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see this campaign, uh, please let me know as well. Because I plan to try many other mods. I wanna check the Napoleonic Total War Three in the Napoleon Total War that I have never played and also I did mention before that I, I did try the the Shogun 2 the um, Morning Sun mod playing with the Ming Dynasty and I would also try to, to I would like to try the Pike and Shot in Napoleon and, and some other stuff here in for Empire the uh, Ultima Retio Black label that is a mod that I like a lot I would like to showcase as well. But I have the Total War Fever and now I have to play them all. <laughs> so uh, if you like this, please let me know. And the, the sooner that we'll get uh, uh, a campaign with Spain kick, uh, starting, starting now. Uh, I would start from zero though. That's anything. But anyway, uh, this video is going to be already too long. The battle took forever. And even cutting uh, stuff is gonna is gonna be long. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please take care. Be safe. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of uh, stuff, not only Total War. Uh, it's very much appreciated if you do. And I hope to see you soon with the next video. Bye bye for now.